and you won't believe this. I just dropped my speech somewhere. From the heart is good. Shoot from the hip. Shoot from the heart. There you go. I usually don't write speeches, but I get so nervous that I, I decided to write a couple of things. Here we go. America has been attacked and invaded by illegal aliens. Illegal aliens are attacking, harming, and murdering Americans. Illegal aliens' hatred and loathing for America and Americans is in their face and in their actions. I was one of the people that marched in Los Angeles with Ted Hayes and with the Minutemen. And actually, I'm one of the original Minute Women. But when we walked and marched through L.A., Illegal aliens were there waiting for us. I was totally stunned when we marched and little children, adults, old women, old men were giving us the finger and pretending to masturbate in our streets. Hundreds if not thousands pretending to masturbate and fornicate at us and telling us what we could do with our American flags. And I thought, this is America. This is what our President, Congress, and the Senate has let happen. We are here because our government has let us down. We're here because it has let down our families and those who fought to save this nation. The Democrat Party has totally enslaved American taxpayers to help support illegal aliens. They make laws to help illegal aliens, not Americans. We have come to realize that the last three presidents, Congress, the Senate, have sided with those countries that have sent their people to invade our nation. In 1965, when I was seven years old, Senator Ted Kennedy, that old fool, said, that changing our immigration laws would in no way change our way of life, our history, or our American heritage. He lied back then, and now he says he wants to try to fix the problem. Get the fool out of our lives. With the 1986 amnesty, we were promised we would not have problems with illegal aliens or illegal immigration anymore. Now we have aliens marching in our streets, yelling, Este es Mexico. This is Mexico. We are here and we are not leaving. In defiance of our laws. The amnesty program was not properly administrated back then and it will not work now. I have been to the border numerous times. I have seen for myself our borders are out of control. The drug cartels control our borders. They murder their people, slaughter their people, and now are murdering Americans. Our government protects illegal aliens while our border patrol agents like Ramos Campian and Gil Hernandez are demoralized and imprisoned for doing their jobs. Let the Texas Three free! Free them! Homeland Security is a joke and President Bush has the audacity to scold Americans for speaking out. He says illegal aliens, do, aliens' morals don't stop at the Rio Grande. What morals? Illegal aliens don't bring any with them, and their intolerance of America and America leaves Americans speechless. America's leaders have fallen into the trap that this has, that trap that has shaken the very foundation of this nation. Corruption is everywhere in California. We have sanctuary cities, the Mexican flag flying over some American buildings. Illegal aliens have cracked the moral and ethical codes that have kept this nation strong for 200 years. Illegal, illegal aliens have more rights in some cases than Americans. People have been elected to elected office in California who believe it's okay to break our laws, who believe it's okay to give driver's licenses to illegals, who believe it's okay to give in-state tuition, who, all, who not only believe it's okay for illegal aliens to march and protest in our streets, but for illegal aliens that, to have all the rights we don't. Well, I say bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 
Right. You would think the American media would be on America's side. History will not be kind to the English media. My city, Santa Ana, California, was attacked during the last marches. Kids and adults, illegal aliens, screaming through our streets, breaking into government buildings, shake, chasing government workers, and actually stabbing one with a Mexican flag. Illegal immigration, this disease, this calamity, this disaster is approved by our president, Congress, and the Senate, and our churches. Otherwise, they would have put a stop to it long ago. They tell us that it's impossible to deport 12 to 20 million illegal aliens. That is not leadership. Abraham Lincoln said, determine the thing can be done and we shall find a way. That's leadership. Deportation! Yes, we can! Just a little bit more and I'm gone, ladies and gentlemen. I say to President Bush, Congress, and, and the Senators, we don't want Mexico's criminals. We don't want Mexico's poor and disease. We want you to do what you were elected and took an oath of office to do. Protect this nation! Enforce our laws! Illegal immigration is the problem. Mexico and those other Latino countries who continuously unlawfully meddle in America's business are not our friends. They have crossed over the line time and time and thrown sand in Americans' face. We Americans will not stand for it. We will protect our nation. <laughs> Yesterday was my granddaughter's birthday. I wish I could have been with her. I hope one day my family will forgive the missed birthdays and all the missed family time. I hope they will understand that during the time I should have been with them, our nation was in deep trouble. And God, God called some of us to help save this nation. Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Whom will go for us? And I said, Here I am. I am proud to stand with those who were here from the very beginning, and I'm proud to stand with those who just realized there was a problem. We are America's warriors. We will prevail. We will win. We are America. And I am campaigning and voting for Tom Tancredo. God bless you, and God bless